everybody welcome back to my channel it is your girl bella so i went to a rally youth conference and i just want to explain to you how this conference changed my life so much so i don't even know where to start the conference was two days at my church and first of all i just want to thank every single one of the pastors because they truly preached amazing messages that really helped me in my faith and i'm just so forever grateful for that and second of all i want to thank the worship team because they did amazing and they're so anointed by god they really truly do have gifts from jesus because when they started to worship i really felt peace but i'm just gonna go straight to the last night of the conference that's when God really touched me. That's when I really felt the love of Jesus. And I have been saved for a while now, but I've never really been like that, like encountered by the Holy Spirit. Like after I worshiped the Lord, like I just felt so clear. It felt like looking into water that is crystal clear with no dirt in it. And my heart felt so pure and so peaceful it felt lighter and i just felt so alive my spirit was so alive and it was so beautiful and when i was worshiping and praying like i fell on my knees and i almost started bawling i was praying for somebody and her salvation and i just started like my sister came in here anyways i was praying for this person and their salvation and i just fell on my knees and then other people started laying their hands on me and praying and they didn't even know I was praying for this person. And I'm still waiting for the Lord to move on that thing. And I know he's going to move. And he told me he's going to move. And he's going to encounter them. And they're going to get saved. And that's just so exciting. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And the Lord really just like met me where I was at. And I got to lay hands on people and pray for them as well pray for their trauma, pray for their healing. And like, they started like manifesting, they started crying and it was just like, oh my, it was amazing. It was like revival. And everyone was like dancing, jumping up and down and dancing. And everyone was just so filled with joy. We really experienced the joy of the Lord. And I'm like, this is where I wanna be forever. This is where I'm at, this is home. This is heaven on earth. This is This is the Lord. And it was just really, truly revival. And the Lord was moving in such big ways. People were crying. People were kneeling. People were on their knees crying. People were speaking in tongues. Like, it was crazy. And I was living for it because I've never really seen revival like that. And I, I just want to see that every single day. Man, I'm really tired from the conference because we were, oh my gosh, it was the time of my life. It was like the best night ever better than any party better than any alcohol better than any drug we were just truly worshiping the lord and dancing up and down to music and it was just so much fun because we knew the lord was with us and i feel like i met some people like we didn't even say any words but like when we worshiped like there was just like some connection because we were all worshiping the same god so i felt so connected to these people even though i barely even talked to them even though i never said anything we just made eye contact and we were worshiping together we were worshiping the same god and jesus was in the middle of us and like we just knew we just all knew each other even though we don't really know each other it was so beautiful i don't even know how to explain it it was just beautiful and i never wanted to leave it was so much fun that was my testimony the lord really moved the lord really moved and i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful for the lord and what he's done but yeah guys that's my short little testimony for my youth conference this was my first conference and i am so happy i went guys the lord he wants to change your life he can change your life and you could have that same experience in your bedroom if you just call out to Jesus. And he would encounter you. You don't have to be at a revival. You don't have to be at a big church. You don't have to have flashing lights to encounter the Lord. 
I believe he wants to encounter you right now, where you're at right now, no matter where you are, no matter what you did, no matter what happened. The Lord wants to heal you and he wants to help you. He loves you so much. He loves you. He's just asking, give it all to me because I will bless you and I will heal you. The Lord, he is with you. He's with you right now in this moment, whether you feel him or not. He's with you. The Lord, he wants to encounter you right now, like wherever you are in your walk with him, whether you don't know about Jesus, whether you know him or not, whether it's been a long time since you felt his presence, the Lord wants to encounter you right now like he did to me. He loves you so much. He loves you so much. I don't know how to emphasize this enough. He loves you so much. He wants to bless you and help you and change your heart. The Lord loves you so much. All right, everybody, we're going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to exit out of here. But I just wanted to share my testimony with you guys because even though it's short, I just feel like somebody needs this word of encouragement. Somebody needs to know that people are still getting healed. People are still getting delivered. I really hope this helps you with your faith. Maybe you were like, God, I haven't seen you move in a long time. Well, just know he moved in my life last night. He moved in over 1,500 kids last night. And I'm going to link some um, posts on the Instagram in a minute. Everybody, we're going to pray. Bow your head and close your eyes. Dear Lord, I just pray over this person right now, Lord. I don't know what they've been through in their life, God. I just pray you touch them right now. Touch them, Lord. Holy Spirit, fill them head to toe, Lord, and baptize them in the Holy Spirit, God. Show them what they're meant to do in life. Show them their calling, God. Reveal to them whether they're supposed to be in ministry, make music for the kingdom, make websites for the kingdom, make businesses for the kingdom, God. Whatever you have in store for them, Jesus. I just pray you reveal it to them right now, Lord, and show them their purpose, Lord. Let them know that they have a purpose and that they are loved. Lord, encounter them right now, Jesus, and encounter them, Lord, and show them love and mercy, God. Forgive them of their sins, God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now the fun part that y'all have been waiting for, the Instagram. Jesus that is so high and mighty yet so low and accessible. He's so good. He's the lion and the lamb. My name is Maddie Brown and I graduated in 2017. the lord he really was moving there he's so powerful and all the pastors they're amazing my favorite pastor probably pastor jude like we don't talk much but he baptized me he's a really good man of god so i look up to him i honor him but yeah i really love 
Jesus, he's changed me so much. Like, I know I may look tired, but my spirit is awake and I'm alive. I love Jesus. He, I don't even know how to express the presence of God to you guys. He was there, like literally there. He was literally there. And it was so beautiful. I just want to tell y'all right now, if you've lost faith, that God is still moving, he's still moving. He's still moving. We literally had revival these last few nights. Like, the Lord, he's been saving souls. So many people gave their life to Christ. So many people are on fire for the Lord. So many people were praying in tongues. So many people got saved. It was beautiful. But all right, everybody, I hope this message encouraged you. I hope this testimony has encouraged you to spread the love of Jesus. Spread the love of Jesus to as many people as you can while we still got time. But yeah, love y'all. God bless.